Okay, before I start this video, I want to give this quick message. Spunky1991 has moved his channel to a new channel. And for all those who have been subscribed to him, those looking for a new channel, I will leave the link in the description box and in the comment section. Be sure to click on it and go subscribe to him over to this new channel. All his stuff, all his content, his Eagles content will be done on this new channel. So be sure to check him out and subscribe, especially if you've been a subscriber to his already. With that, we thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Where are you? I'm King Ding Dong. No, I'm King Ding Dong. No, I'm King Ding no, 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 I'm King Ding Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Ding Dong here. Now, listen, I want to say this. Thank goodness that this is the Rams preview prediction video. And we don't have to talk about that stinking game the other day on Sunday night. That was brutal. It's been a hard week. It's been a hard week dealing with that loss in every way possible. From the way the team played, the way they coached, the, the trolls that have come out, all the negativity towards the Eagles. It's been a hard week. And I know that most of you Eagle fans out there, I know you've been holding on. You picked yourself up. You dust yourself off. And you're ready to go against the Rams. So, with that said, it's eggnog time, yo, for you, the Eagle fans that had to deal with this crap all week. So, the Eagles, they're going to play the Rams, right? They got the Los Angeles Rams in a, another clinching game where they can win and win the division. But this game, this game is much bigger than that. This game is humongous. This is the biggest game by far for Coach Doug Peterson, for the quarterback Carson Wentz, and for this team. This is a big time game. This game, in my opinion, will tell you which way this team is going. And I believe this is the game, I believe more so than the Seattle game, that when you look back at the season, you'll know this point in time was really the catalyst or the start of how they finished the season. I truly believe that. The Rams are 9-3. and three. The Eagles are 10-2. and two. If the Eagles lose to the Rams, the Rams would then have a tiebreaker on the Eagles. So, they, so though they both would be 10-3, and three, the Rams would get that two seed. The Eagles would fall to a three seed, meaning they have no bye week. To me, you reduce your chances of doing anything in the postseason, having no bye week. It kills you. Especially this Eagles team, it would be bad. The Eagles need the bye week. This game, I cannot emphasize to you how important, how big, how monumental this game is. And... The Eagles got to take it. Now, they go, they're they in California, I believe, all week. And this game is in Los Angeles. And they got to go play the Rams there. Now, luckily, the Rams, their home field stinks. None of their fans go. It's really bad. So I expect the Eagle fans to take over the stadium. Be loud. Be obnoxious. Be in their faces. Be there. Let this team know you're here and we took over their home. Let them know we ain't playing because this game is big time. Big time, yo. Big time. Eggnog time. Eggnog time, yo. So, they got to get it done. Now, the first thing I want to see and I expect to see when, I, when the Eagles take the field and this game starts is... Do not start slow. The Eagles need to come out mad. They need to be pissed off. They need to be upset. And they need to be serious. And they need to take the opening kickoff, whenever they get on the field, and take it to the Rams the whole game. Don't let up. Don't pull off the gas. Attack this team. They got to attack this team. That's how it needs to start. The last few weeks have been... Way too slow of a start for the Eagles. Too slow with teams like the Bears and the stinky teams like the Cowboys. Slow starts with them, they could get by it.
but not with a good team like Seattle, not with a seasoned team like the Seahawks. They that that slow start, that slow half really hurt the Eagles. I thought if you play a good team like the Rams, you're playing. I believe a slow start will be a real, real bad sign. Okay, real bad. Now, the Rams. We all know they have Jared Goff, who was taken ahead of Carson Wentz. The Rams traded up. They believed Goff was the better quarterback. So far, it looks like Wentz is the better quarterback, but Goff is a pretty good quarterback. I like Goff. I think he's outstanding. He's great for what they do. Okay, one other guy that I want to talk about that I think is very important to the Rams is Sean McVay, the head coach. To me, he's winning coach of the year without question. He's done a fantastic job in rebuilding this Rams team. He also was with the Redskins, if you remember, and he's had experience beating us. He's had success against us beating us with the Redskins. So he knows what he's going up against. So I want to see Doug Peterson keep the pedal to the metal, keep pushing, be aggressive, and you know what? We'll be okay. Now, when I think about this game, about what I think the Eagles need to do on offense and defense, it's pretty clear. Um, on defense, I think there's two things I think that, that they got to do in order to win. The first thing is you got to be able, you got to be able to get pressure on Goff. If you could get pressure on Jared Goff, knock him around a little bit, throw him off his game, I think he'll throw turnovers. I think you'll keep You'll keep him off balance, and I think you can get to him and affect the Rams' offense totally. Pressure on Goff is key. The other thing is watch Gurley out of the backfield. Gurley out of the backfield, especially as a receiver, is brutal. That's not a good matchup for us. You know what I mean? It, it, it hurt us last week. The running back out of the backfield does scare me a lot. But if you can get pressure on Goff and you can contain Gurley, not let him have big plays against you catching the ball, I think... Hey, I think you'll be fine. Gurley, to me, is, I mean, not only can he catch the ball, he can run it. Let's, let's put it that way. He, the guy's a dynamic running back that can do it all. And the thing with him, the thing with him is, to me, out of all the players that are non-quarterbacks non for MVP, he's right up there, in my opinion, as an MVP candidate. He's been that good. Okay? I, I think Gurley is fantastic. So you got to gotta be careful for him, you know, with him. On offense, I think you have to run the ball. If you can run the ball, you know what's going to happen. The Eagles will set everything else up. It'll set the play action up. It'll set the pass up. And the Eagles will carve them a lot. They will score a lot of points. I believe running the ball with the three-headed monster is the key. Get them backs in this game. Let them get yards and let them, let them run the ball. If they run the ball, which I think you can run the ball on the Rams... I think the Eagles win pretty convincingly. Now, there are a lot, like I said, there's a lot of anti-Eagle people out there. They think the Eagles had the weakest schedule in the league, the weakest schedule all year long, and that the Eagles beat nobody, and now they lost to the Seahawks, and now they're going to lose the Rams, and we're going to see them crumble. That's what they think. Now, that's not what I think, okay? I think last week was a learning experience for the Eagles. I think it was one that they learned a lot from. I also think it was a one-time thing. I think this team comes in. I think they're hungry. I think they're ready to play. I think they're going to give the Rams a fight. And I got the Eagles winning this game, going to 11-2 with a final score of 31-20. to I think it'll be close game. In the fourth quarter, the Eagles pull away and they win by 11. 31-20, Eagles I have them winning. Now, before I end this video, I also want to give a shout out. I want to give a few. I want to give a shout out to some people who have been very good to me, who have been promoting my channel, and you know, they did it out of the kindness of their heart. Um, Fire Jason Garrett, uh, actually a Cowboy fan, has been promoting my channel. He has a YouTube channel, go check him out, but a shout out to him. I also think he has a, a Twitter, how about them Cowboys? And um, I think it's uh, Cowboys at Cowboys X Factor. So check him out. 
when you get a chance. Thank you for all what you've done, you've done, and a shout out to you. And then they have guys who actually are a part of the Sports Fury Nation. They have been very nice to me, always promoting my stuff on on Twitter. Guys like Thor Seth, Jim Jim, all those guys. I just want to thank them all. Sports Fury's quotes. All those guys who are promoting me, you know, just out of the kindness of their heart. I appreciate it. I wanted to say thank you and shout out to you all, guys. So with that said, I got the Eagles, 31-20. Take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.